CSI. I this thing's fast. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, vlog two. It's been a couple of days since I filmed my last one. Today I'm gonna be heading to a car meet and I have been working really, really hard on the Rocket Bunny RX-7 full Bridgeport build. There's a lot of things I've had to fix since the startup, so that's been cool. The Corvette has been out for a couple months and we're still trying to figure this out. We've got the injectors out and I'm trying to figure out what's going on, but it's like very irregular, like throttle, idle. Everything is so bad, like you can barely drive down the street. So we're gonna be taking the 240 out today Today. I've got to switch the wheels out. I'm gonna take some stuff. Maybe I'm gonna prank some guys I don't really know really anybody out there. Maybe like one other person And so it's gonna be pretty interesting like filming out there But yeah, me and my buddy have been doing something fun on the taxi garage crazy carts here And I want to show you like what we've been doing and if you have a crazy cart at home I think you should try this like if you're really into driving you should have one of these regardless We rigged this thing to always be on and so when you drive it literally just spins And if you don't know what a crazy cart is, it's basically like a go-kart that has these caster wheels in the rear and it allows you to spin in 360. So you see your shopping cart here, see how the front wheels can spin in a circle? Well, that's exactly what this does. And with this handle here, you can kind of make it spin in a circle or you can put the handle down and then you could just drive straight and they don't spin because when it's at this angle, it won't allow it to spin because the weight is holding it straight. And so what we did to make it really hard on ourselves was we put this thing here and then we tighten this it is stuck at full lock, so it always spins in the rear. So this means it's like driving on ice or your front wheel drive car with like trays in the background. So it basically just drives any direction. It's like really hard to control. Like I'm probably making it look easy, but this took me like a couple weeks to be able to drive this. I'm gonna ask my buddy Mario to see if he wants to go to the car meet. So I'm gonna ask him that right now to see if he wants to go. He's kind of like my brake buddy. Oh! He's like one of my best friends that lives here. Kind of rides those with me. I have a couple carts over there. We do a lot of videos with Taxi Garage and Crazy Carts, and they've been a lot of fun. I want to do another one with it, but I'm not sure. So if you have an idea, comment down below what it is. Let's go get Mario. You awake? You want to go to a car meet? Yeah? In like an hour? You still in bed? Yeah. Bro, why are you still in bed? It's literally 4.23 p.m. Pushing myself when I'm tired, and I just need a full day of rest up here. Okay, no, I, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't disagree with that. You're stupid. The car meets at six thirty, so our goal would be to like leave at like right now. five, five thirty. But you want to get there early because it's late to be early, huh? Oh, uh, you mean late? I have to put the wheels on, and I want to make the AFR gauge work on it. Oh, f I forgot to grab the goddamn car. What an idiot sauce. Okay, come on, let's go again. <laughs> <laughs> Never gone this way. Hi. I don't know, I just felt like going this way. Hey Suki, I'll meet you in the garage, okay? I forgot to grab the car. So there's uh, a lot of stuff I'm gonna do to this car. I'm doing a whole like rebuild series on it. Uh, I'm getting ready for a huge uh, drift week trip that I'm about to do. And uh, when I say drift week, I mean like, it's a road trip in the drift cars, like from track to track to track, going like 1500 miles. It's like the coolest thing ever. And so we're gonna be doing that. There's gonna be a bunch of professional drifters with us. And like, honestly, it's probably one of the best experience ever. But not only that, I'm excited to upgrade this car because I've been putting a lot of attention to other cars and this car like really needs it. I'm good. Wait, I have to do the backs. <laughs> So I've been uh, drifting like everywhere in these things. <laughs> As I started jacking it up, I realized what I had. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. I was driving on that. There's literally cord showing. This literally could have blew up on me any second now. That would have been another video. Back on with the news. Ta-da, it's all on. Okay, so I'm probably gonna pack up the rest of the stuff. I want to put this AM gauge in. Honestly, wasn't planning on doing this, but uh, AM supplied this slide band. It's like the new one or whatever. If you want to get one, you definitely can, but it's not like a promotion. I'm just saying that I have one. I haven't been able to read my AFRs 
in here. I wanna put this in. I've already packed in the O2 sensor, so now all I have to do is just wire the rest in. So I'm gonna see how much time I have. I'd like to do this, and it'd be fun to kind of get it going, and maybe I might put the rest of it together. All I have to do is just put it to power, and then I should be good. So yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Also, if you don't wanna like die like I almost did, you should uh, definitely torque your wheels. So I'm gonna do that now, but don't forget to do that if you're a DIY guy. All right, time to torque them. All done, now I won't die. This is the best tool ever. It's called a power probe, and I use it for so many things. So we're gonna use it to find out where to plug in that, that thing. I forgot what it's called I'm putting in. But yeah, that. So what we're gonna do now is turn this key on and we're going to turn this on. And now I am going to touch everything and find the thing that's not on. Actually, and I need to find out what's on right now. Then I need to hit it again, turn it off and make sure that that thing that I'm touching that has power turns on and off by this switch here. So now I'm just gonna go digging. Ah, ah, ow, ow, my body, it hurts. <sighs> Oh, I'm born, I'm alive. Yeah, okay, I didn't find anything. Uh, to the other side. Ow. It's a lot tighter in here. Okay, I'm gonna do some research and look at this, but I don't think I'm gonna find much if I'm trying to film at the same time. Hi! I'm just trying to find power for the AEM stuff now. I don't see like a main power. I feel like I might just do that crab claw thing there to get power. But, you know, I can't say that's my favorite. I'm using the phone to actually look. So I'm trying to see where I can get power from. I'm realizing that I might potentially need to do a relay, but I don't think I will need to because it's such low amperage, but I could just piggyback off of something else. It's not the right way to do it though. I'll have to read these directions. So right now I'm temporarily setting this up because I am gonna be doing like an aftermarket dash. It's gonna look really cool with all this stuff. So I'm all done now. Here's my relay with my five amp fuse. I've wired this into, you know, it works. You know, it's not the prettiest right now, but as long as it works, it's kind of what I'm going for. I got my power and ground. I've got my signal here. And then now I just plug this into here and it should work. All right, we'll see if this works now. All right, we're gonna get a test run, see if it turns on. Hell yeah. All right, sick, so it works. And I got it set up with the whole relay system. I just have to tighten everything on and then I'm gonna go. Now all I need to do is the last and final touches. I just need to plug this with this right here. Right, what do we have one hand? Uh, we're ready to go, baby. I need to get off those. I need to close this door. I've never once in my life seen my AFR, ever. So I'm just now like learning about this stuff. So this will be the first time I will see it. Wow, look at that. It's a little rich, isn't it? Okay, oh, there we are. Okay, cool. Dope. This is sick, I'm so, I'm so stoked. That's so cool. I would literally leave it like that. I don't care, like this is so cool. We're gonna let her warm up. I'm gonna grab the necessary needed things and then we'd be on our way. Check it out. You like that? You like that like little <laughs> setup? Dude, that's OEM. Yeah, I know, it's AEM. No, OEM. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it was a joke, it was AEM. Honestly, you don't know how excited I am about this and how revolutionary it is for, like, for me. Like, I've never really known or understood these things too much, but I'm really excited about it now that I have this. And if you don't know what it is, your car's supposed to run, like, in a specific way. The ratio of fuel to air is supposed to be a specific way inside of the motor. That's, like, around 12, 13, I think it is, or, like, 13 point, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly. But this allows you to be able to see it, right? So that's what's really cool is that now I get to see, like, Oh, did my tuner do a good job or is my car running correctly? Editor, can you add what the air fuel ratio is supposed to be? Like when idle and, and when driving?
get too pointy. <laughs> Dude, I'm so stoked about that. Not only that, but they actually given me some for my uh, for my Corvette. I have knuckles for my Corvette. So if you're interested in knuckles or any angle kits, Wise Fab is definitely the way to go. So I'm gonna be talking to them soon and hopefully getting that package so I can start installing it on my cars. But I'm super stoked about it. Hell yeah, thank you, Wise Fab. <laughs> Um, I was at the gas station. I have some things to share with you while I was checking because my car was steering very, very hard to the left. Look at this. It's not, it's barely 10 PSI. I have like 15, no, I have like 12 PSI in my tires. I've been driving so long on these. Bro, what was I doing? I need air now, like super stat. All right, I got air. I hear the car meet. This is literally the corner so it's a turn on. And I have no air. I know, chill. Oh, you're so cool, chill! I want you guys to go ahead and go inside and enjoy whatever's here. Yeah. Alright, we're back. Bro, I did not know this many people. I, didn't, yeah, I did didn't not think, think it was going to be like this. It was going to yeah. be like the ones back in merch. <laughs> really? <laughs> With this car for free, just bring it on up here. Oh my God. Through that entrance, right next to the Frogasando. Tent. Over this way. We'll bring them on through this way. Over here. Over here. All right, so this has been a sick car meet. I mean, look at this whole show up. Man, this is pretty sick. So I got the car. It's really dirty, so no one judge me. Honestly, it's been a while since I've been to a car meet, so it's kind of cool being around like this atmosphere again. This is gonna be sick if I did this on the 240 and then drift week with all this. Oh, this is how we this is how we put the crazy carts on top of the cars. Look at the suction cups. Dude, so, we need this for drift week. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We do that, but not only that, like I was gonna put a basket on the end of the car. So I was gonna put like a tow hitch with a basket on the back. <laughs> or I could put a little mini trailer, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna drift. Hey, are you legally allowed to get a sidecar on your car? Dude, I don't know. No, you I can't. Could just, be, I could sit here next no, to you while you're driving. You can't be like wider than like like six and a half feet or something like that. However wide cars are, you can't go get a really that. small one. Yeah, otherwise it'd be considered like a wide load. Yeah, that's that's so funny, I didn't even look at the car next to me. This thing's actually pretty sick. The gold wheels actually look pretty sick. Dude, look at the car. Oh, wow. I didn't realize this is a Z06. I looked at the brakes and I was like, this is a Z06. I don't even have to look at it. I know it's a Z06. Oh my God, this thing is so cool. Yeah, dude, it looks like a Lamborghini inside, honestly. It really does. It's cool to see all the American cars like up in their game. Yeah, yeah. No, look at that, look at that. Look Way deep in there, face. there's a blow off valve. Is there twin turbos back here? Yeah, there is. <laughs> I saw the blow up valve, like, this thing's turboed. This thing's fast. Oh my sh. Oh, look at right Supra. Now. Damn, look at Supra. Honestly, I would love to get a right hand drive one. Honestly, I, I want to get a right hand drive Evo. Have you driven a stick shift right hand drive? Yeah, I have. When I was in Australia, I did. Honestly, I want to go to Japan, buy an Evo, drive it around everywhere, and then ship it back. Because I want to get Evo so bad. All right, got some Red Bull. Red Bull girls are here. Sick. I'm actually close with Red Bull if you can see that. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Dude, honestly, at this location, I feel like you could drift all of this. Like, there could be a whole little drift setup here. It's really good. This is really sick. With all these, like, I don't know, this whole setup is really cool. Oh, what's up, Jeff? How you doing, man? I'm good, how are you? Doing good. Oh, you're gonna flip over it? Hey, scoot back a time. I did not expect this to happen. That's crazy. Why are you doing it again? Get it. Oh, you can aim one over it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so sick, but so random at the same time. I was not expecting a scooter. I had to flip over a car here. <laughs> That's funny. I kind of brought my scooter, too. Don't tell anybody. I don't know why, but I found this to be the most interesting thing here at a car meet. This motorcycle. Look at this thing. It's literally turbocharged. It has this little intercooler here, which is so cool. This little, dude, honestly, I don't think that's big enough. Even though it's because it's, I don't know why. I just think that could be bigger. 
But this thing probably sounds so sick. Dude, this is really, really cool. When I was looking at it, I hit my head on the bars right here. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. To show you how big this wheel is, I'm crouching and it's bigger than me. That's crazy. I automatically think a car is cool when I see that there's been work put into it. Like I'll look into like the inner, like the grill and see if it has like intercooler or oil cooler or like, you know, a power steering cooler, whatever stuff like that. Then I feel like the car is like meant for something instead of just like sitting. But also I admire sitting cars. Like that motorcycle was a sitting motorcycle, so. Either way, that's kind of the stuff I look for. I invited Lewis out here and he shows up in this like brand new Chevy. Why do you have this? A Chevy, Chevy. They just gave it to you? Yeah, they're Dude, like. Dude, they don't even give me cars. They're like, here bro, make some videos. Damn. All right, hey, go on the other side. You're making people follow you like a dumbass. Go, go, go. Yeah, you're good, go for it. You like you like that car over there, is it cool? Yeah, that one's cool. Oh, uh, why, why is it cool? I, I like the color. What color is it? It's like a uh, blue. Yeah, I guess it is blue. It look from here, it looks weird. Check out the AFR gauge. Oh, still in the package. Still in the box, keeping it fresh. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, okay, these cars were just revving. The security guard came up and said no revving. So these twin turbo cars, these are so sick. I know, these are the cool cars. They're doing the rev battle right now. I know. Oh, no, no, hold on. In about 20 minutes, Yeah. secretly walk your way to the left. Okay. There's an FJ Cruiser LS swap supercharged. They're gonna set up a metal ramp <laughs> on a container and they're gonna jump a car. <laughs> they just blew out two tires doing a test hit. They changed the tires right now. Is that the one that's gonna do it again? Uh, yeah, they're about to do Wait, it. Wait, why? Did they tires. get it for like cheap or something or what? It's a badass car. Bro, the alignment looks so f on that side. Dude, he has new tire stickers on it. Oh my god! <laughs> How thick this is. Oh my god, it's meant for jumping then. Yeah, this is crazy. Look, it has a little coilover with the with the extra little. You think it popped reservoir? it when it when it when it went through that skinny, or did it pop when it hit the ground? Oh yeah, look, look at the blue that's all on the side. Yeah. I think this I think is, is this is like supercharged, it's huh? A supercharger. Oh, yeah, it is a supercharger. Yeah, it is a supercharger. I looked at that and I was like, is that a Magnuson? Because Magnuson's the way to go. Dude, this thing's no joke. I thought it was gonna be a piece of crap. <laughs> hey, should I should I jump the Chevy? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, oh my god. This thing is so crazy. I was not expecting to see a fuel cell back here. I feel it out. <laughs> Does it bolt it down? No. Oh no. my god. I was about to say, bro, it doesn't look bolted down. So they're about to take this container okay. and put it under this ramp. No, under it? Under the ramp. Like make it taller or yes. something? Yeah, literally make it taller so that they can jump over a car with that FJ over there. <laughs> wait, wait, what car are they jumping over? Uh, I think it's a Jaguar F-Type. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Bro, they're literally moving this entire shipping container. Dude, this is so sick. Oh my god. So uh, that's the owner there. He's the one that's deciding to do this. He says the problem is, if the light's pointing at him, he can't see this, and that's what popped the tires last time. But uh, he's still planning to go bigger and even better, so that's crazy. Bro, you need to just you need to just think about what's happening. Did you hear what's happening? We're standing ne stand next to that thing. No, but did you hear what they're doing? Yes, I know what they're doing. What are they doing? I, I was talking to the owner. Yeah. They're propping the ramp on yes. top of yes. it. I do we, dude, dude, title thumbnail just happened like automatically. Bro, how is that even gonna work? It's how gonna work so good. This is crazy. He's gonna jump his Jaguar, dude. I literally think he's gonna hit the Jaguar. I don't think he's gonna make it. Wow, that light made everything so much better. So basically, they're now setting the ramp on top of the flip sideways container. Hey, is this like the best car meet you've been to lately? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you glad yeah. that I invited you? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, I've been to so many car meets, so I've never been to one that does like this. Yeah, no, we need more of this in Bro, our look, lives. this is what's gonna happen. He's gonna pop both tires like he did last time, hitting both ends, and he's, he's not gonna have speed, and then he's just gonna... Nose dive right into yeah, FJ. Right, right on the floor, yeah. Right, right into the FJ. Guard. So this is the uh, the car they're jumping. That's crazy. Why why are they jumping this car? Why not? Are you ready for this, bro? Oh my god. That's gonna be an excessive amount of nosedive. Yeah, it's about to nosedive like a mother.
<laughs> yeah, That's the thing. I, I think I have you just dis have you disengaged the uh, airbags? No. Have you been hit by airbags? No. Yeah. First time. So what I would say is, <laughs> you just just lock. Get your your face as far away, like kind of like lean back. I've had airbags go in front of my face yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. I've jumped a Honda Civic. So much fun. I'm sure disconnect the airbags wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I think I would have I would have anybody that's a decent tech do that now, and so you don't have to worry about it. When you're about to jump exactly. in. Exactly. Yeah, I don't want to knock on my nice teeth. So. Yeah. No, I saw them. They look good too. Yeah. Full set like that is kind of expensive. So. Oh my God. Let's go. That's not bad for the first shot. Hey, yo, give it up for Omar, Texas <laughs> Tigers, bro. Let's go. Look at it. Look at it right there. Hell yeah. Hey, hey, bad news. You're going to need a new oil filter, man. Hey, has anybody got any oil off the world? Look at this in there. God, that's not easy. Oh, that's that gas, bro.